Hi everyone, so in this video I'll be showing you guys a Rust Plus Smart Alarm Circuit to get noties whenever your base is being raided through the Rust Plus app. And so to just get started on the screen there will be a list of items that you need to complete the circuit. And I do want to mention two solar panels is necessary to keep everything powered. There probably is a more efficient way or circuit out there, but this is the only way I know currently and it's the easiest way in my opinion. So I start by placing a solar panel east and a solar panel west and I place down a root combiner and bring the two outputs into the two inputs on the root combiner. Then take the combined power and bring it all the way to the battery. Then you take your output and bring it to the first splitter. And so I color cut these wires and to do so you have to hold R, the reload button, and I use the third outline and bring it all the way to the sensor and in this case scenario I make a, a loot room for the video so I bring it into the input and then now there's an electrical current going into that sensor it is on then I take green and bring power into the memory cell then take your output and bring it to the second splitter I use red again for the smart alarm. Bring it to the input. Doesn't matter which outline you use on the second splitter. So then I take blue and I bring it into reset on the memory cell. And so the last wire we have to plug in is the output from the sensor. You bring it to set on the memory cell. So the last thing you have to do to make this circuit all work is pair your smart alarm with your Rust Plus app. So in this video I use the message Rust TUT, hold E on it to pair, I name it TUT for the video and the notification that will come through is Rust TUT. So it says it's inactive and it is and it will only become triggered when the sensor senses something. So when I walk in it triggers and here I click exclude authorized so it won't scan you or anyone authorized to the TC and it should look like this include authorized and exclude others and now it will only scan enemies and random players and that's it for the video guys thank you for watching and for anyone wondering I do use this circuit in one of my main duo servers that I'm playing on right now it's a rusticated server I have a sensor set up on the roof because if someone's hopping onto your roof you're most likely getting raided. But yeah, anyways, that's it.